All right, we're working on a 2004 Honda Accord. Uh, I think this covers a couple different years, like 03, 06, something like that. Uh, anyway, she had her complaint was she didn't have uh, windshield wipers. And the uh, first thing I do whenever someone says they don't have windshield wipers, I turn it on and then I go under the hood and see if I can hear anything. Um, if you don't hear anything, then you can start thinking about maybe electrical or a bad motor or something. But on this one, uh, I heard the motor running under the hood with the key on and the wipers on, and the wipers weren't moving, of course. So then I automatically suspect, uh, you know, one of the rods here, transmissions. So uh, this is what I found. I pulled it out of the car. I'm waiting for the new part to get here, and when it gets here, I'll show you. I'll show putting it back in the car. Um, but I wasn't sure what I was dealing with before. I, wasn't sure I was going to make a video. I didn't really think about it until uh, I got out. I thought, well, I have a video uh, earlier that I changed the motor on a car similar to this. I think it was the same year. And uh, I figured, well, I'll do a video now on the transmission part. So anyway, here's what happened to it. You can see uh, this rod right here is gone. It goes from here to the other end right here. Here's the actual rod right here. Now, this one, I don't know if you can see that. This hole is pretty damaged. This rod is pretty damaged, so my guess is, uh, you know, when it popped off, the wiper motor was still running, and uh, this arm here just went to town on it and screwed it up. So uh, we're going to replace the whole transmission. Let me get. I'm going to get something real quick. I'll show you. Uh, there's another option. I don't do it anymore. I'll tell you why. But I want to at least point it out. Hold on one second. I'll. All right, I did manage to find one laying around the shop. Uh, this is the, well, I just dropped it. This is the bushing right here. And what, you know, you can see there's one here and there's one there. And these uh, pop into uh, these arms. And then the bushing pops into uh, the ball here. And Dorman does, they do sell these separate as a kit. Uh, you can tell them. I don't know for sure if they have them on Hondas, but I know they have them on GMs and stuff. I'm sure they do on Honda too. Anyway, they can sell just this bushing kit. And you can go through and replace all the bushings on your windshield uh, transmission here and, uh, you know, get back on the road. Now, on this one here, obviously, uh, these holes are so damaged that I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. And if it's your personal car, uh, it may be worth spending, you know, I think these are like 10 bucks for a kit. And this this here I think is about 130, 140, something like that for the entire transmission. So if it's your personal car, uh, you can maybe get away if your holes aren't damaged. They look pretty good. Putting these in there and uh, putting it back together, you'll be fine. The reason why I don't do this anymore is because I've had a few times where I put these in and they pop off anyway. It'll just pop off, and then I got people mad at me because uh, I fix their car and then you know a couple months later same problem I get in there and these these pop off and uh, I've just come to the conclusion that uh, I don't want to do the second job for free and I don't feel like uh, this is a permanent solution to replace these uh, I mean it's, I've done it in the past and never had a problem but just recently in the last couple of years I've had a couple of comebacks over just replacing this versus replacing the whole unit <coughs> So now me, my personal opinion is I'm going to replace the unit every time. I'm not going to mess with uh, uh, just changing these out and then hoping that the customer doesn't come back and complain to me. So uh, anyway, on this situation, we have to replace it anyway because this is damaged. But if it wasn't damaged, I still wouldn't do it just because uh, I don't want her going back to college and then uh, pops off, uh, you know, a couple months later and then. I get the phone call so anyway that's my opinion on that uh, if it's your own personal car you don't care like I, I would maybe do this to my personal car uh, and try it try it first and see if it works out because like I said I've had success in the past with that but uh, now my personal uh, motto is just replace the, the whole entire assembly and be done with it now you can get just the assembly without the motor which is what we're doing here this motor looks fairly new uh, doesn't look too bad 
and it sounds like it works good. So I'm going to get the assembly. Uh, it's on the way. I suppose it'll be a couple hours. So I'm going to get the assembly. We'll take this motor off. I'll show you uh, what's involved with that, and then we'll set this back in the car. I'll show you how to put it back in the car, which in turn will show you how to take it out. So if you have this problem, uh, basically this video will show you uh, what you need to know to get this in and out, take the motor off, replace it on the new uh, wiper transmission, and then get back on the road with it. This car has another issue I got. I have to uh, address today or look at, so uh, I just ordered the part. We'll wait for it to come, and then we'll pick this video back up. All right, so we got the new wiper in. Uh, on this, uh, the motor is parked. This I had it parked uh, when I stopped it. There's actually lines on this uh, factory transmission uh, unit. It's got three lines, and uh, there's an arrow on this arm right here. And I marked uh, with a black marker where it was parked at when I pulled it out. And it's at the first line. Uh, the Dorman doesn't have... Um, those marks there but you can kind of eyeball and put it pretty close you'll be able to what I would do and I always do anyway is uh, get it close to where it's supposed to be put this in start the motor cycle it let it park and then put the wipers on uh, you know after you cycle it through that way your wipers will be in the right position so all you do here is uh, pull this arm off and I believe it's a uh, 18 mil maybe 17 mil. So we got 17 mil here. And, uh, and the arms just. I got a screwdriver real quick and uh, kind of pry up on this a little bit. It shouldn't take a whole lot to do that. Sorry about that, I should have been more prepared for this. So normally it's not a big deal to take these arms off. Just kind of get underneath them. Pop it up. Alright. And then, uh, so we got three uh, 10 mils holding this motor to the actual transmission. And they call these this assembly a transmission assembly, just so that's, that's why I call it that. If you're wondering. So we get these three out, and it should drop this motor right out. So that's out. You pretty much throw this thing away. Now we're going to put this back on. Of course, it's just a reverse. Uh, we'll put those three bolts back in. And then we'll eyeball that. Uh, since this doesn't have those marks on there, it's kind of surprising. Seems like the last one I did uh, did have the marks, like the factory does, but this one doesn't. So as long as you're close, um, you'll be fine. Just cycle it through, like I said. Uh, once you get the this set back in the car, just cycle the motor a few times with the wipers off, and uh, once it's back in the park position. Now, like I said, the arrow, there's an arrow on here, uh, and mine was on, it was almost straight across, it was on the third, it was on the first mark, so that's about where it was at, about right there, so that'll be, that'll put me in the ballpark, about a few millimeters of where it's supposed to be, and then once I repark it, We'll be good to go. All right. 
it's on there and tight and uh, the only thing left to do is pop this on it. All you do is just push down on it. It should pop in pretty easy. I say that. It didn't do it. Alright. So it's not one to pop on that easy. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just get a pair of channel locks and push it down. I'm not going to beat up my hands and then uh, well, uh, it, it's it's really not that hard usually, and then uh, we'll take it over to the car, start putting it back together. I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty simple, and then uh, we'll move on, be done with it. And I gotta move on. And uh... all right, we're outside because I got uh, one in the shop is tore apart, so hopefully the noise isn't too bad out here. Uh, this is how you want this motor oriented. You want these two arms to be lined up at the top. If they're not in that direction, you'll never get this uh, assembly back in there, and you'll uh, probably pull all your hair out. So, uh, once you get it looking like this, where both arms are parallel all the way down, and they're up at the top, you can go ahead and kind of put it in there. Still wants to fight you a little bit, but uh, if you don't have it in that... Most of that orientation you'll never get it in. Alright, now it's in there. Uh, there's four 10 millimeter bolts that hold this in there. So we'll go ahead and get those real quick and put those in. You got two on each end. They're all pretty easy to get to. The mill. And just go ahead and start them. And uh, we'll tighten them up. doesn't want to go back in. There's always one. Oh, this one's stuck on the washer. What's going on? All right, this washer is stuck down. Let me fix this. Alright, so that washer was stuck at the top and didn't want to go all the way through. Got it fixed now. Now this one's doing it. Alright, so that was just, that washer was just stuck on the bottom part. It wouldn't go all the way through. Now we're just going to run these down. Just tell that, uh, I want them snug. You don't want to go nuts on it. I know my my tool pretty good, so I know where it's at. All right. So what we're going to do now is plug it back in and cycle it a few times, and that will uh, park it where it's supposed to be parked. Make sure you put this uh, line harness back in the hole where it's supposed to go, or this could possibly have it rubbing on the wiper assembly, and then you'll have all kinds of issues. So, uh, we'll go ahead and get the key and we'll cycle it, make sure everything's turning inside there. Then we'll shut it off and put it in park, and then we'll be able to put this plastic back on and start putting the wiper. Alright, so I got the key on. Hopefully, you can see the. the Transmission arms are going back and forth, and the wipers are going back and forth. The wipers aren't on there, but the things that the wipers, uh, the wiper studs go back and forth. So now we'll shut it off. It should be in park there, and then it'll be safe to put the arms back on. And I'll show you the plastic part that we have to take off. 
to get down to this so that when you take it apart you know what you're looking at so let me shut it off and get it ready and then all right so this is the big plastic piece you take off to get down to it uh, you will have your uh, wiper wiper uh, hose hooked up unhook that and then uh, all this is is a bunch of clips and just pull up on it it'll come off so uh, but before you can do this you have to take your wipers off and I'll show you that but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on real quick and then uh, we'll put the wipers on I'll show you that and then uh, you're good to go so it's not too bad to get down to it just got to remove this and the wiper blades so anyway I'm gonna snap this back in it just sets up in there it's pretty self-explanatory there's little uh, clips all the way around you just snap those back in and then it's good to go all right you can see the wipers are working uh, once you've ran that motor a couple times, just put the wipers about where they usually rest, and you may have to adjust them a little. And all it is is a 17-millimeter uh, nut on top of this here. There's a little cover, a little rubber cover on top of them. Just pop those off with a uh, screwdriver, whatever you have, and then you got those 17-millimeter nuts, and uh, you know you can fine tune adjust it. Uh, just by taking them off and putting it back on. Uh, it only takes maybe one or two times and you, get it, you can get it good. So that's pretty much it for putting a uh, wiper transmission in a 2004 Honda Accord. I do have a video on changing the motor that goes a little more in depth on taking the plastic stuff apart and all that if you want to check that out. Anyway, uh, I think that's going to wrap it up. I still have to uh, fix the horn on this car. So I'm off to the next little thing and I guess I'll see you on the next one. I appreciate you watching. Have a good day and God bless. Thank you.